Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you or will be discussing with you Evernote versus OneNote, which note taking is better. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So Evernote and OneNote. So those or those both applications offers a multitude of features aimed at keeping you organized. So boosting productivity and simplifying your note taking process. Now in this video, we'll explore the characteristics of both Evernote and OneNote, highlighting their distinctions and ultimately determining which one takes the lead. So let's dive in. Now to begin, let's first explore Evernote. So Evernote is a robust note taking application designed for capturing, organizing and accessing notes across various devices. With a clean and intuitive interface, Evernote caters to the needs of professionals, students and those seeking enhanced organizations in their lives. The app provides a flexible organizational system so allowing users to create notebooks, stacks, and tags and categorize notes effectively. This hierarchical structure simplifies the retrieval of notes when needed. So Evernote's strength lies on its extensive formatting capabilities, supporting rich text, bullet points, checklists, tables, and more. Now, additionally, it seamlessly integrates multimedia, enabling users to embed images, audio, clips, and attach files directly into their notes. So notably, Evernote excels in web clipping and document scanning, so allowing users to save articles, web pages, or entire websites for future reference. Now, turning our attention to OneNote. So OneNote is developed by or was developed by Microsoft. This note-taking application is seamlessly integrated with Microsoft Office Suite. It offers a versatile platform for capturing or and organizing notes across devices. And also, OneNote follows a notebook style organization, assembling a physical notebook with sections and pages, and its standout feature includes exceptional inking and drawing capabilities, making it an excellent choice for artists who prefer handwriting their notes. Now, OneNote also emphasizes collaboration, allowing multiple users to work on shared notebooks simultaneously. Furthermore, it integrates with other Microsoft Office applications such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, enhancing its appeal to those within the Microsoft ecosystem. Now, having explored the features of both Evernote and OneNote, now let's highlight the primary differences between the two. Firstly, the pricing model. Evernote adopts a premium a free MUME model with limitations on free usage, while OneNote is entirely free in terms of cross-platform availability. Now, Evernote is known for its widespread availability on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, and web browsers. Now, on the other hand, OneNote is deeply integrated into Windows and Office ecosystems, but it's also available on Mac OS, iOS, Android, and web platforms. Now, concerning interface and learning curve, Evernote boasts a sleek and minimalist interface, making it a user-friendly for new users, while OneNote's feature-rich interface assembles a physical notebook, potentially requiring a steeper learning curve. Now, in conclusion, the choice between Evernote and OneNote depends on personal preferences, the specific note-taking needs, and also Evernote may be preferred for its clean interface cross-platform availability, and a robust web clipping and scanning capabilities. Conversely, OneNote may appeal to those who prefer a notebook-style organization, excellent in inking and drawing features, and integration with Microsoft Office application. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.